AI can write your entire research paper in minutes, but should it? With schools cracking down on AI use, students are panicking about where the line really is. Here's the truth that nobody's telling you. It's not about avoiding AI. It's about learning how to use it right. Hello everyone, my name is Shane, and today we are cutting through all of the confusion about using AI in academic research. What's actually allowed, what crosses the line, and how to use AI tools without putting your academic future at risk. First, let's kill the myth that all AI usage is cheating. Most schools allow AI for grammar checking and sentence improvement, properly formatting citations, brainstorming and outlining ideas, and summarizing research that you've already read. What's not allowed is having AI structure your arguments, copying AI-generated paragraphs, letting AI do your critical thinking, and using AI-generated fake citations. You can think of AI like a spell check on steroids. It helps express your ideas better. Here's what most students want to know. How much AI is safe? Most institutions suggest keeping AI-generated content to about 20 to 30% of your paper. But here's the key. That's mostly for mechanical stuff like grammar checks and formatting. Detection tools like Turnitin flag anything over 40% AI content. So here's how to use AI without getting caught or crossing any ethical boundaries. Step one, use AI for brainstorming and rough outlines only. Step two, write your draft completely by yourself. Your ideas, your voice. Step three, use AI to improve clarity and fix grammar mistakes. And step four, always revise AI suggestions to match your personal writing style. The goal, AI should amplify your thinking, not replace it. When in doubt, disclose. Most schools just want transparency, not perfection. Here are some simple disclosure examples. You could say something like, AI tools assisted with grammar checking and sentence structure, or ChatGPT helped with the initial outline development. You should obviously check your school's specific AI policy, but generally you only have to mention substantial AI contributions, not any minor editing help. Here are three critical warnings. One, never trust AI-generated citations without checking them. Two, don't copy-paste AI text without significant revisions. Detection tools can catch generic AI writing patterns. Three, keep records of how you use AI. So if you get questioned, you can show that your process was completely ethical. AI isn't going anywhere, so learn how to use it responsibly. The students who master ethical AI usage will have a huge advantage in the future. What's your biggest AI concern? Drop them in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Hi, Shane from Jenny here. Thank you for watching the video. Jenny is an all-in-one writing workspace that's designed specifically for students, researchers, and academics. Jenny helps you write with smart suggestions that include citations, manage all of your sources in one place, paraphrase your writing into any tone, and it also offers a smart Jenny chat, which is basically ChatGPT but tailored specifically for academics. You can try it out for free today. Link is in the description box. See you in the next video.